Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about tarantulas that I keep from the United States. I noticed that a lot of keepers sometimes underappreciate boring brown tarantulas that we have here. A lot of people prefer the more exotic species and I don't blame them, of course, like pokies look really cool. But here in America, here in North America, specifically the United States, we have a lot of aphonopelma. In fact, we have a lot more aphonopelma than the ones I'm going to be showing you today. This is just my small amount that I have personally, but there are so many species that I don't even have, I've never even seen available. And I know that in Europe especially, you guys seem to have more difficulty finding very common species over here that are native. And so I wanted to just make a video dedicated to the boring brown tarantulas that I personally love and give them the recognition that they deserve. So I've got four different species. I'm gonna rehouse one of them. And yeah, I don't wanna go on too much, so let's just get started. <laughs> <laughs> she's out she wasn't out like a few minutes ago so i was not expecting that so we are starting off with my little female aphonopelma hensi this is a very cool species which is actually native here in missouri we call it the missouri tarantula you can also find it in oklahoma and it's called the oklahoma brown or texas and they call it the texas tan it's also in colorado kansas arkansas louisiana all in that general area and yeah it has a lot of common names but one scientific name which is aphonopelma hensi and that's why common names can be really confusing this girl was actually captive bred and she is about five years old so still not very huge but really cute and yeah she usually like hides under this cork a lot and her enclosure setup is pretty simple i just give her water and i keep this side pretty damp not too damp because they're not very obviously tropical but in the wild they obviously Obviously do go through different weather patterns including flooding so I do want to keep it a little damp just to simulate that a bit maybe we could try to feed her oh okay wow you okay over there? Pretty feisty for a little gentle New World tarantula. <laughs> and of course you guys know that I also have a male Aphonopelma hensi. He of course is a very well-known tarantula over here. A little bit bigger than her. This is who you guys call dumpster tarantula. And yes, he's doing really well. Now, unlike her, he was not captive bred. He was actually found in someone's dining room, as most of you know, and made his way to me safely. But he is actually really gentle, unlike her. So, I mean, this is a perfect example of having two of the same species with two different temperaments. Do not touch her. He doesn't really care. He's pretty chill. But yeah, I don't really see these guys available in other countries. Like, I don't know if they are. But yeah, they're just a really cool species and I'm super happy to have these two beautiful boring brown tarantulas in my collection. Next, we are going to be looking at the Aphonopelma calcodes. So I know that these for sure are available in the UK and other areas around the world. Much more easy to find, I believe, than the Aphonopelma hensi or any other Aphonopelma we're gonna be talking about today. So they're pretty well known for being super docile and super easy to take care of. Part of that is because they are a desert species. These are found in desert areas of Arizona and it even spans down to like Mexico. So generally, they're much easier to take care of than a lot of other species because they will just happily live on dry substrate forever. Although I do obviously provide mine with a water dish, although I do let it dry out pretty often. So yeah, her setup is pretty simple. I've just got Eco Earth, which is not my favorite mix, but I've had this girl forever and I haven't rehoused her, I don't think. So she's just been in here chilling for quite a long time. She's been in pre-molt forever though. They grow so slow, but generally she lets me handle her if I want to, which is nice because a lot of people do like a very calm tarantula with low venom that's gonna tolerate some handling. Like I get it, but just always keep in mind it's not really the best idea to handle your tarantula. They are considered pet rocks because this is the extent really of what she does. Although she does kind of dig a little bit and stuff, so it's not like she doesn't do anything. It's just sometimes she'll sit there for like 
three days and not move, but that's fine. Really pretty, oh, there we go. Finally, she's gonna move a little bit. All right, so yeah, that's like the extent of how much she's gonna move for the week, so. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to some lesser known Aphonopelmus species and Mojave. Okay, so this is actually the girl that I want to rehouse. She is an Aphonopelma uerum, but let's go ahead and rehouse her and then we can get a better look and I'll talk more about her. So for this one, we are actually going to be using an enclosure from tarantula cribs as you guys know tarantula cribs and i work together and if you guys want to get a tarantula cribs enclosure you can use the code cat10 and save 10 percent that is an affiliate code but i love them and they always hook it up there it is about to get my fingerprints all over this okay so we definitely want to give her reptis soil Oh, I already got my fingerprints all over. Okay, that is a ton of substrate. Texture. I think we're gonna skip the moss with her. Right, we definitely need some cork bark though. This nice big piece too. Yeah, something like this. Bury it. And we can also use the piece of cork she has now. And you see her right there. She's such a pretty tarantula, similar looking to the Aphonopelma calcodes. However, she is actually found in California and has a little bit different of a look to her. So let's pull this out. Get it up just like that, just like her old enclosure. I wonder if she's gonna be friendly today. I'm gonna get her to come into this little cup. Ooh. <laughs> She's definitely a little spicy today. No, no, no. Come on, girl. Go that way. No, 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 no. Wow, I did not expect this rehouse to have some attitude. So there you go. <laughs> I just want to get a better look and get her into her new enclosure. There we go. We are going the right way. Yep, yep. Yep. There she is. So this is my beautiful Aphonopelma uetum, and this was actually collected by Nate over at Micro Wilderness. And now that we mentioned it, I did want to say this video is sponsored by Micro Wilderness. You guys know that I work with Micro Wilderness a lot, and they are just so great over there. I know you all have had really good experiences. So Nate is actually really awesome with working with Aphonopelma. Really goes out into California and other areas, even Texas. He's also really really into the breeding of them and making sure that they get out into the hobby. And not only does he breed them for captivity, but he also will take a mother and a male, breed them and release half the egg sac back to the area where the mother was found. It's really cool. And it really is great that somebody's out there caring about our local tarantulas, our native tarantulas in the United States. But he also has tarantulas from all over the world, including Mexico. He has an import about to drop. So I suggest you go check out his website ASAP. They should be here any day. So yeah, go check it out. Code CAT10 gets you 10% off. And thank you so much Micro Wilderness for sponsoring today's video. So you can definitely see that she looks different than the Aphonopelma calcodes once we get close. She even has like really pretty reds in her legs and just like the smoky look on her front legs. Definitely a beautiful tarantula. Aphonopelmas are so beautiful. I know a lot of people say they're boring and brown, but I completely disagree with that. She looks so gorgeous and she has so many different colors going on that like it's just insane. There you go, girl. Check out all that space and all that cork for you to climb on. She's definitely one of my collection gems for sure. Look at, now you can see that like orange on her legs. Check that out. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So yeah, I think that this is gonna be a great new enclosure for her. And we do have one more Aphonopelma that I wanted to talk about today. So last, but definitely not least, we have my Aphonopelma Steindachineri. Steindachineri, what? <laughs> I don't think this one has a common name either, but check her out. She is black and beautiful. Oh, 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 there she goes. So yeah, this beautiful little girl is from California, also ranges into Mexico. 
Mexico and commonly gets confused with the Toledo cattle Schroderi. There's a lot of debates between the two of them being the same or different or whatever. I think I might make a whole video about black tarantulas eventually. So this girl is actually very feisty, not friendly at all. As you see, she is a little bit skittish and she kind of just wants to hide. So we're not gonna bother her too much more today, but of course we needed to talk about her because she is beautiful and not brown or boring at all. She's actually quite active and really cool to like watch and really easy to take care of. I just keep a water dish that I do let dry out. But yeah, once this girl gets larger, she's just gonna be this beautiful big black tarantula that I'm just gonna probably be even more in love with. Anyway, I'm gonna stop bothering her now. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of tarantulas from the United States. I keep wanting to say American tarantulas because we say American here in the States, but everybody outside of us call it the States. And of course there are many American tarantulas, both North and South American tarantulas. We're talking about just the ones in the United States, of course. So comment down below, let me know what species you like the most. And if it's easy for you to find them in your country, if you're outside of the United States. Also, I wanted to give a special shout out to my new patrons, Rosie, Cindy, Robin, Emma, Spider Newton, Michael, and Rhea. Thank you guys so much for joining my Patreon. And with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like it if you did, subscribe if you're not. And you want to don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, podcast, and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And I'll see you guys soon.